Hello friends! A while ago I made a video on staying motivated and building levels in which I had a little minute long section on actually making stuff in the editor. So on today's episode of Bottom Gear I'm going to show you guys how to make art styled stuff. So you open your editor and you go Damn it, what the hell do I do now? The answer to that is close the editor and find a song you like. I've already talked about this greatly in my other videos, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But once you've found a song you like, you can actually get in and start working. So you found a song you like. Why do you like the song? Is it because it is intense? Does it have a relaxing atmosphere? Whatever qualities you can get from the song is what your level should reflect. Do not use Extruler's Supernova if you plan on making a super atmospheric stroll through the woods level. Now that we have established that our idea matches our song, we have to begin to execute the idea. Now for the sake of demonstration, let's choose a song like, uh... 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 Yeah! So with the song like Electrodynamics, we are all pretty well versed in the level that Rob Top made. So that can make finding original ideas more difficult. But in instances like these, I try to listen to the music so I can get an idea as to what to make. The synthesizers, or whatever the hell those are, sound very sharp and pointy. I cannot explain why, but my ape brain has decided that it is sharp and pointy. So for the first portion of the song, I'll make my designs reflect that. But world, I can hear you saying from the comments, as is typical of my youthfully ignorant viewers. You have just described a single word. How are you going to make something pointy? That don't make no sense. Well, allow me to show you. Uh, ah. mm. Oh yeah. Okay, but for real, it all comes down to structuring and how you choose to design your blocks. This is blocky. This, however, isn't. So depending on the outlines of your blocks and what you place within them, you will have a very different result. Furthermore, with electrodynamics, we have the idea of electricity because of the name of the song. So given the properties of pointy and electricity, we can make some neat shit. Have a look at these two fellows. I have not even touched more than a couple pieces of them and they are already coming together. I'm gonna have little glass bits with lightning running through them so that they look super animated. And very pointy. And I'll have little square bits that are going to be like circuit breakers and control panels and electronics and miscellaneous shit like that. And within five minutes of having those outlines, I have these now. Are they flawless? No. Are they finished? Absolutely not. But it's an idea, which is better than what we had literally ten minutes ago. With nothing but pointy and electricity, we have managed to figure out this much. As for making additional designs, well that's easy enough, you can just base them on the ones you already have. Not to say you should copy and paste them, but to say that you have circuit breakers and electricity. That's a very big theme. Make a gearbox, make some electrical wires, make some pipes or some ducts or something. And although my blocks are blue, that's just because I think electricity looks best blue. You can choose whatever colors you want. Alright, so cool, now we have an idea for our designs. What about everything else? Well first you need to know what you're going to be decorating so you can make your gameplay next. While playing Rob Top's version of Electrodynamics, I found an aspect of it that I quite liked. Right at the very end of it, it seems like the player is going through a bit of a tunnel. So I figure why not amplify that? and make it so that the game plays in a restricted area and we can make some sort of dark electric tunnel before the intensity that comes with the drop. So here's my gameplay. Literally nothing special, right? Well, watch this. Kabang! Closed space in the sky. Now we have the groundwork laid out for our electric duct. We don't want the top and bottom of our electric duct to take away from the designs that we've made. So we know that we'll be keeping those pretty plain and just keeping them like a light gray or something. Like so. Then we can add little lighter gray columns to give the ground some differentiation. And maybe even throw some lights on them if you're feeling frisky. And maybe even just a little bit of trim on top if you're trying to be a tryhard. And then, you know, that's it. The concept's there. Now, I know this isn't a flawless example because I haven't poured any longer than, like, 10 minutes into it. But the process is what counts. Now, this same process applies to backgrounds. So what background would fit in this area? I don't know. You tell me. Could be pillars. It could be vials of electricity or something. Whatever fits goes. So that just about concludes all the advice I am willing to dish out today. So thanks for sticking around if you're still there, and if not, why don't you want to be educated? If you have any suggestions for future videos, please hit me with them, as well as any feedback on this one. Should you want a part two, or to watch me make this level in a series type format, just let me know and I'll do it. Or if you want to see me uh, cover another style and how to start building on that. So I'll be seeing y'all in like 
three years or maybe three minutes. I'm not sure. Goodbye.